Hey, what's up? This is Jeffrey Nothing, and you're watching Metal Madness with Jenna Madness. It's Jenna here with Metal Madness, and I am here with Jeffrey Nothing of Mushroom Head. What's up? How's it going? Good, good. How's the tour been going so far? Uh, it's a little uh, smaller crowds than the last leg we had, but we had uh, a couple more metal bands out with us. Now we have like a experimental artist, and she's really good, but I don't know if it's everybody's thing. But um, uh, the crowds have been really responsive, even if they've been small, so that's cool. Psychodelia has been released and the response has been awesome. How does that make you feel as opposed to the acclaim you've gotten with Mushroom Head? Um, really good because the record took four years just in downtime we had available and from the other projects and um, it uh, for a minute there seemed like it might come, not come out on any label like we may just self-release but um, Suburban Noise showed interest and um, all the other response so far has been really good. Blabbermouth usually tears Mushroom Head to shreds and they love the record so I think that is a good barometer. It's, it's doing really well so far. With the record, because it took four years, how did you decide, okay, I'm going to use this instead of that material? How did that come about? Was that a hard struggle for you? To no, I mean, we didn't really throw anything away. We, um, I picked the songs out of, Ryan Farrell had like a 15 year uh, build up of songs he had, and that's about like eight or nine of the songs, and then we wrote a couple together, and everything just happened like it was meant to. and. Um, it was, it was my most fun I've ever had doing a project. I like doing the Mushroom Head Records, but it's like, this has been a blast from start to finish, so. How was the vibe working with Skinny in another role as opposed to everybody with Mushroom Head together? Um, Skinny and I work together alone a lot, arranging Mushroom Head songs after we have all the raw materials, so it's something I've been used to, but Ryan and the equation has definitely been different than six other cooks, and it's really cool. I, I, I can't wait to work on the next record. Not too many chefs in the kitchen though. <laughs> see you play these songs out as opposed to being with Mushroom Head? Um, I got the chance to do my first four dates ever in Australia and since I was a little kid my aunt and uncle and cousins lived there I always wanted to go and now I finally get to I love the way Sydney looks I can't wait to be there in person but um, um, we definitely plan a tour and as much Mushroom Head downtime as there is and, and uh, anything that is presented I'm going to take. Right, awesome. Mushroom Head has been around a long fucking time the kids here when they found out i was talking to you today were fucking going crazy yeah. they were so excited and everybody wanted to be my new best friend you guys have a rabid fan base how would you describe your fan base to somebody that's never been to a mushroom head show watch out uh, yeah pretty much but i think they're like incredibly loyal i remember back in the day uh, skinny's ex was taking pictures and a bouncer went to pull her down the crowd swarmed on him like bees it's like uh, it's almost like a religion in a way i mean I wouldn't trade them with any any other bands or fans. <laughs> to realize is the minute you're signed that's not like oh cool someone's gonna do everything you still have to do everything you almost have to do more because a lot more is expected and uh, we always kind of realize that from watching other bands come up and kind of drop back down pretty quickly but um if you aren't DIY you're not going to survive especially now where nobody really buys records so much and it's more on just touring and if you can't support your own tours you're probably going to be lost Check out his record. I'm telling you now, it's fucking 
killer. The new psychedelia on Suburban Noise.